So I got this 289 here and I've been doing a little bit of work on it and I had it running pretty darn good but over the last two years it's progressively worn down a little bit and run worse and worse and now it's only running you know, my manifold vacuum when I have my gauge on there is reading 11 versus when I had it reading 15 when it was running real good so I don't have any vacuum leaks so that led me to kind of think that my valve timing is off and uh, no matter what I did with my distributor there or my timing it made no difference because you can't time an engine that the valve timing is way off of so I was filling around and I noticed a little trick here that if you take your engine here and turn your crank and your crank's hooked to your distributor which is hooked to your uh, your uh, cam by a gear so if there's any slack in the timing chain that thing right there my little dial ought to not move when I'm turning my hand on the crank so we'll see here we'll go forward just to make sure everything's going along okay so there we go we moved it forward a little bit take our wrench off here and down on the crank there these fans are nasty work around cut you up something terrible anyway so now we're going to start moving moved a little bit now alright took me about I don't know a little bit of a turn to get her to move we'll move her back forward now so and there we went we just moved forward so it feels like we're pretty darn loose not way loose but running this high lift cam in here and with what's going on it feels as though that the valve timing is off enough where I can't tune it and I've been through been through everything on that carburetor right there pulled it off a thousand times been through everything so that's what I'm down to so that's the next project on the old galaxy so there's a little trick there if you guys want to check your uh, your timing chain plane if you need a new one I uh, went just to verify that that was all right all right way to check things I went and checked it out there on that 74 F100 it has a 302 in it and the timing chain didn't even have any play at all and it went forward and back like a dream so I guess that's what's got to be ripped off the whole timing cover and hopefully I can get that off without screwing up my pan gasket too bad or else that means pulling this whole engine out so what can you do? so I wondered why the uh, the old galaxy all of a sudden the manifold pressure dropped uh, and I dropped about 11 I only had 15 to start with because I got a pretty good sized cam in there um, yeah, so I was fiddling around, couldn't figure anything out, and uh, I took the timing cover off. Now, that's the one side, but I mean, you know, I have a feeling that that's not a good thing. So, I got a new one, and we'll try it. I think this actually sheared itself onto the... Uh, it sheared the key a bit and it's stuck on there pretty darn good so that'll be a real treat to get off but uh yeah I'm kind of excited you know most people will be pissed off but damn I've been fighting this some bitch for I don't know man probably I'd say all summer all my uh, senior year summer man and I'm ready to get her rolling again I got a now, I was going to degree the cam, but the cam, when I watched the uh, the piston and everything, it's all it's all where it should be, dead on, just about. But there's a few little instances, so we'll put this on here. This is one from Ford, and uh, I trust Ford parts, and it's adjustable within two degrees. 
of itself, so I feel like that's fun, but I'm going to try not to do that. We'll put it in and see how it runs, just up to standard setting, because uh, on a comp cams, you know, they're usually advanced or retarded from the factory, and this one I know is advanced four degrees, so I think that'll be the wise choice to make there. Leave it stock and put it in, but that's definitely a little too sloppy to where you might have some problems, so we'll see what happens. We'll post another video if so it works out. I was uh, changing my timing chain on my uh, 65 block, and I noticed something that I don't think a lot of people noticed, where you can't see it now, but the cam thrust plate, which is behind the, the uh, cam timing gear here, it's back behind there. Um, well, I had this one on there, which was the uh, stock 65 one. And uh, the other one that actually came with my my Ford timing kit there had one with a nub out there. And uh, so that nub that was sticking out covers up an oil galley and it has kind of a pathway and it kind of funnels it into the cam thrust bearing area so kind of different but it, uh, I assume that these ti these double roller timing chains are designed for that uh, other style and this one here this is my cloys or whatever you want to call it timing set and it went down in 8,000 miles it just got really sloppy I got a video up of what that one looks like so and I got tremendous more compression it seems out of my engine now this this timing chain is really tight that side doesn't even move that side's just bouncing a little bit so grab a wrench here and it's just uh, an animal to try and turn over. It's a lot harder. Ah. So, anyway, there it is. And that's what a... Get down there. That's how much play a new tying chain has. That side doesn't even move. That side barely moves. So, there you have it. But a quick tip there is that old school type thrust plate isn't any good. So if you do a double roller, you better switch or you'll probably have the same problems I did. Thanks.